it's my birthday. And in celebration of me getting my shit together, the vlogs are back, baby! Yeah! What's good? Whoa! Shit. Well, that's quite dramatic. Just made a huge fucking mess. What? <laughs> it's literally. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. That's so funny. It literally went perfectly onto the camera. Isn't that cool? Hello. It didn't really go everywhere. I kind of just made a huge mess in my room. But I needed to come back with a bang <laughs> because I've been gone for eight months, if you can believe it. I quit YouTube for eight months. I thought I was done, to be honest. I thought I was just gonna be a full-time podcaster, which I will get into. But yeah, I quit. I didn't I didn't make any videos, I didn't upload any videos. I uploaded one video this year, eight months ago, and that was it. Back then, coronavirus was just a, it was just a name in the wind. Now it's trying to kill the one that we love. So yeah, I did quit for eight months. I haven't uploaded since February. And I'm sure the question that's on everyone's mind is why did I quit? And the short answer is when I quit vlogging, it was the best for my mental health. And now I feel like it's the worst thing for my mental health. So today on the 17th of October 2020, I'm back. I'm not filming this on the 17th, I'm actually filming this on the 14th, but it is going up on the 17th on my birthday. I've had this date planned, like this specific date on the 17th for this video to go up. I've had this idea, I've had it planned for at least four, three months. I had this thing that I did, and I'm not saying it's gonna work for everyone, it only worked for me, I think. Basically, three months ago, I was ready to come back vlogging, but I, I just felt like I needed to take another three months and I said I'm gonna take three months, I'm gonna upload on the 17th, and that gives me three months just to just to be in my own head, to miss vlogging, to wanna do it. And I and I did, I, I missed it a lot. I don't know how that got caught up there. And, and and just and just not doing it and not uploading. Even though I wanted to. I practiced vlogged a few times, if that makes sense. I actually went out and like recorded this stuff. Knowing it wouldn't go anywhere, but just to get myself back into the mood of things. Like even doing this now is just it it kind of feels a bit weird. It just I haven't done it for a long time, but I set the date. I made sure I was gonna stick to it I only told like three people when I was coming back. That's Dan Aiden and my therapist I teased the date. I know people were asking me quite a bit when I was coming back I'm sure a lot of people stuck to this channel for I've never come back But the reason why I wanted to take as long as I did is because I wanted to make sure that when I did finally post again I wasn't just gonna do what I did before and just post and not come back for a few months I wanted to make sure I was actually legitimately wanting to come back and actually post content. And I did, you know, contemplate not even coming back at all, to be honest with you, I, I really did. I got to the point with vlogging where I just felt so used to it, it just got so stale and mundane for me, and I felt like I was just making content that I knew people would like and would just work. Well, I just wanna do my own style, I just wanna do my own thing. Like, this whole video is gonna be set here, like before, I'd be trying to film something like this, I'd have to get this, I'd have to get this, and go out there and do this, and do that, and get a drawing shot, and this, kind of music, this, and this, and transition, and blah, blah, blah and it just, it, it really kind of just drove me mad. And I still want to do that stuff to an extent, but not drive myself as mad as I used to. If I do want to just do a video where I'm sat here talking, that's fine. If people like that, they do. If they don't, then they don't. And I have to just... I just have to do what I want to do. I want to put the you back in the YouTube. And I, I just want to start making the content that I want to make. You know, it's my channel. I might as well do that. And I feel like I forgot that, which is insane, but I feel like I did. While I've been gone, and since I've uploaded my last vlog, I've actually shot 47 episodes of the 4 Love podcast, which I host with Daniel Aid, another fellow YouTuber. That's been my main focus, is getting that podcast going again. I mean, I've been doing that for, we recently just had our fourth anniversary, but I've been doing that for, for years, but we've never really taken it that seriously until maybe a little less than a year ago. Now we're uploading two to three times a week on that channel, plus with Eclipse channel, which is sick. Like I said, yeah, 47 episodes is, is quite a lot. Not only that, since I've been gone, I've started the 50% Doctor Who podcast with another fellow YouTuber, Greeny Pro, my good friend Aiden from school. And we've shot 22 episodes of that, and we haven't gone a single week without uploading. It's on Spotify, it's on YouTube. Both podcasts, the 4 Laugh podcast and the 50% Doctor Who podcast are both on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, you can find it anywhere. 
I highly recommend them. A lot of love, a lot of passion goes into them. And we're showing up each week now, which is great. I also just needed time to get those, like, going. Because I I feel like I had all these things going, but I just wasn't doing anything about them. So now they're all going, and they're going to continue to keep going. I felt comfortable enough to come back and do this. By the way, if you add up all the podcast episodes I've done since I left and stopped vlogging, it's 69, by the way. So if that ain't a sign, I don't know what is. The last thing I want to say is I became a DJ. I got my first deck in March and I have just started to DJ parties. I only started to do parties in like July, August time, I think. But since then I've done five parties and I've got two more coming up this year, probably a few more. I finally found a way to work on my love of music and that's to, to DJ and I eventually want to get into producing next year. I've always wanted to, to work with music, but I just, I never really, I don't know, found a way to do it. I played all sorts in school, drums, guitar, violin, cello, piano, heaps of stuff. And I listened to music all day, every day for like two to three hours. So finally I found DJ and I'm mixing and I'm loving it. And I'm gonna to continue to do that. Panda is my name, that's my DJ name, believe it or not. P-N-D-A, Panda. And it's been going great and I can't wait to just continue to just do that. Those gigs are sensational. I'm gonna do a full video on me being a DJ very soon. It's been requested quite a bit from people that I know and people who talk to me. Mm. And I do want to say I've had this idea for a show, which would be like the third podcast, my third and final podcast I want to make. I've had this idea for ages that I finally want to do. And I feel like I'm finally in the right headspace now to be doing it. So that should be coming out early 2021. And give myself a bit of space to get used to the vlogs and all the podcast uploads. Because at the moment I'm doing about three to four podcasts a week, add in vlogging on that and all my DJing work. Plus, I'm now a fourth year at work. I'm a fourth year apprentice, so I work five days a week from like seven till three, four-ish. It's intense, but it's intense. But you know, I, 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 I do love to work and I love to be busy even though it drives me insane. But that's kind of it. And it's really nice to be back. I've held back telling people when I'm even gonna be recording and uploading this. So it's, I'm, I'm really glad people care. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff coming out and I'm very happy to be back and I finally mean that It felt very forced before you probably couldn't be able to tell I'm very proud of everything that I made in the past I, I really am proud of it. I think I've done some great stuff over the years But you know, I daily vlog for 104 days. I've uploaded vlogs to previous channels and this channel Stuff is not even public anymore. All in all, I think I must have done at least 175 to 200 vlogs in my whole life. And not a lot of those are public, like I said, but I've made them. So it's about time now that I, I do what's best for me and upload the content that I want to see. And if that means you want to unsubscribe, that's fine. If it means you want to subscribe, that's fine as well. I want this place to be a community and a place that I can come and just me personally upload so it's not the podcast and it's not me DJing it's not my job as a carpenter it's me vlogging my life and it's just it's just my life that's all that I want to get out of it and I'd love for you to come along on the journey it's gonna be a lot of fun it, it really is <laughs> I'm just cast to be back it feels really good to be back I've, I've missed it I'm telling you whenever you want to do something wait three months it, it works everyone's gonna think I'm crazy for saying that but it works trust me I've been I've got so many looks and comments after saying that, I can't wait to hear what you guys say about it. But yeah, I'm back. I've made a, a huge mess for you to... Oh, God. So, it feels good to finally say this again. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I love each and every single one of you, and I will be back. Yeah.